Any man who wants to sell his land, I'll give him a fair price for it. Cash money. No questions asked. Yankee dollars. You can buy half the South for a decent nigga. I have no work for you, you know, when we get back with no slaves. We got a bit put back. Missus has always wanted a store, some small thing. Made you some coffee? Ain't very good. Just ground up acorns. But it's hot. What y'all want for dinner? I was wondering what we might have for dinner tonight. Hmm? Chicken. Mm. I'd love some roasted chicken mm. with gravy. Mm. Well, Miss Lizzie, you go out and catch me a chicken and I'll cook it. I can make a vegetable stew. I suppose we'll have to do with vegetable stew again. Mm. Mm. We must count our blessings. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. He coming! The master coming! Oh, no! Jesus. Oh. Oh. Isaac. Davey, you still here? As a matter of fact, Master, we just leaving now. I can use some help around this place. Won't be able to pay you much. Or something. That's kind of you, Master, but, uh, David here want to see a bit of the world. He ain't never been off the plantation. Well, if you change your mind, good luck to you. Along with us, Miss Queen. Ain't nothing for you here. Well, you take care of yourself now, you hear? Come on, Isaac. You're moving so slow, we ain't never gonna get there. Price for it. Needs must be met. For long, I have no land left to sell. I can't go on like this. You're very quiet. But then I suppose I haven't said a lot of things I should. I thank you for all you've done for us. 
Should have said something before. But, well, I, I'm very grateful. We all are. Ain't nothing. Yes, it is. You've been housekeeper, gardener, cook, and maid all rolled into one. I don't think my family could have survived without you. Can't afford to pay you much, a few dollars a week. But when things get better... I don't want your money. I have to pay you something. Slavery's illegal now. Doing rather better than we are, not they? Day, Henderson. If it's about more credit. No. I've come to pay my bill. Well, now, that is good news. The missus will take care of you. Letitia, Mr. Jackson's here, financial. Oh, Mr. Jackson, come on in. I've got some fine roasting hens. <laughs> that up at a little girl still with you, I see. Nice day for it, lady. Don't mess with her. She's a high yeller. Oh, hell, it don't matter to me. I don't mind a little midnight velvet. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day, Mother? Well, I went to the Mitchell funeral. It was quite a turnout, considering what a foul-tempered man he was in life. <laughs> You spend your life going to funerals. Mm, getting used to it, I suppose. Huh? Well, doesn't this look delicious? I think it was a celebration. I suppose it is, in a way. I don't know how pleased you'll be. Given our circumstances, we hardly need another mouth to feed. A child? That's wonderful, Lizzie. I'm praying for a boy. I hope it's a girl. With Jane gone, the house seems so empty. I need a little daughter to love. You've lost none of your cheek, I see. Ken, your place, girl. You nothing but an ex-slave and hide help. But I suppose you want this on credit? The massacre fault. You get your money. Your price is high enough. <laughs> oh, are you sassing me, girl? You're accusing me of overcharging you. If the high and mighty Mr. Jackson has any complaints, you tell him to come and see me himself. Not to see in some bastard slave girl. I ain't a slave no more. You a useless nigger with no civil tongue in your head for decent white folk. Hell, in the old days, she'd have been whipped. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what she need now. Good spanking to put her in her place. You can't touch me. Come here, girl.
beer? Hey, she can't be too far. Come on. Are you gonna sit out here all night? Something must have happened to her. Oh, we would have heard. The Hendersons would have sent a message. She's gone. Don't say that. She's gone, James. Like all the other Negras. Oh, and I'm glad. I don't mean any harm. I hope she hasn't been hurt, but... I hope I never have to look at her again. Because every time I do, it reminds me that you loved another woman more than me. Where have you been? I had some trouble, Missy. Well, not half as much trouble as you've caused around here. No thought for us, just off and away. I had to cook dinner last night and clean up in my condition. In the old days, we'd have sent the dogs after you. Now, get yourself cleaned up and get to work. I'm sorry. Your master's been out looking for you since daybreak. Worry's sick about you. He ain't my master. He my pappy. How dare you speak to me like that? And how dare you speak to me like that? Treat an old dog better than me. Queen do this, queen do that. Cook, wash, clean. Garden, plant, cotton, pick cotton from morning till night. Not even a word of thanks. Or even a mention I exist. Well, I do exist, Missy. And I got a right to a little bit of love. And if I can't find it here, I'm going to get it somewhere else. So ungrateful. After everything we've done for you. You ain't never done nothing for me. And you won't ever have to now. I'm going to miss you, Mammy. Because you're the only friend I get. Aren't you even gonna come to say goodbye to me? I'm sorry. I tried to warn you. Could have helped Miss Sally. Could have made things a little easier. Oh, perhaps. But it would have been the same in the end. Why? Because I'm Negro. I'm nearly white. Only got a little bit of Negro blood in me. It's not enough to be nearly white. Even one little drop of black blood is too much. Here, take this. Take it. I don't want it. You always were a stubborn child. We owe you this much at least here. Now you take it. Take it. I don't suppose that uh, I'll ever see you again. Good luck to you. Wherever. Whatever. I'll miss you.
misses. Queen, where have you been? I've been looking all over. I leave him. For good. Why? What happened? A lot of things happened. Are you sure you want to go? Let me give you a ride into town. I can manage. Oh, miss you, Queen. I go miss you too. Right to us. Let's let's know where you are. Remember. There's God in everyone. Bag, ma'am. You stupid darky. My luggage goes on first. Yes, ma'am. Can't trust these darkies to do anything right. Have to keep your eye on them every moment. And you shouldn't be here by yourself, dear. Not a pretty young thing like you. Why, these darkies would have us away as soon as look at us. You take my meaning. Such a pretty young thing. Oh. Meeting Mama. Mama in Charleston. She been visiting in Martinique. She comes from there. You're French. Oh, the islands. So romantic. And you have the coloring. Such lovely dark eyes. But you shouldn't be traveling on your own. My papa said I gonna be fine on the coach. And the kinfolk gonna meet me when I get there. You know, it's such a relief to find pleasant company. There's so much trash traveling nowadays. 
I've been in fear of my life all the way from Natchez. You probably haven't heard of my pappy then. Colonel Jackson, folks of Cyprus. Oh, our glorious veterans. Such difficult times. <laughs> well, you must tell me all about yourself on the long journey. Such a relief, someone to talk to. We girls must stick together. Now, let's go find our places. Queen, you're the white girl now. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any references, ma'am. They were stolen. Well, it's of no consequence. It really isn't a suitable job for a white girl. Oh, I used to it. I've been cooking and cleaning, and I need the money. Maybe you do, but you don't fool me, Missy. Not for one moment. You're black trash trying to pass, and we don't take kindly of that sort of thing around here. Now, you get out of here and get to your own kind. Next.
You rich? No. I have some admirers. Is you a whore? If you want to pass as white, you have to watch your speech. Nothing gives you away faster than slave talk. Never say is you, say are you. I don't want to pass for white, I is white. I don't want to pass for black neither, because that me too. Little miss in between, that's me. Nowhere to go, no place for home. I'm just a mistake. You ain't no mistake, child. But you do smell. You smell bad. Are you a, you know what I said? A whore? I don't think so. My mammy worked for him, took care of him. She was always on at me. Ellis, she'd say, you take care of what you got, girl. It's all a girl has got. She let it get war out. Then the Yankees came in the war. They raped me and they burned down the house. So I came here. I'm sorry. Oh, child, it's done. But I swore. If white men wanted me so bad, they were going to have to pay for it. I could never do that. And I ain't pretty like you. What did they do to you back in that big old mansion? Didn't anyone ever say nice things to you? Didn't anyone ever tell you how pretty you are? Only my mammy. Child, your mammy was right. Mammy's always are. I don't dance too good. Oh, it's easy. Just follow the music. Dear, you're looking lovely as usual. Thank you. May I have the honor? Why, George, I'd be delighted. You're on your own. Don't be a wallflower. Don't leave me, Alice. with every man in the room. Well, I had to. That first one, Morgan, kept trying to kiss on me. Are all men like that? Most of them. What'd you think of George? Well, he's so old, Alice. Well, I think of him like he's my pappy and very rich. You ain't nothing but a whore for all your fancy talk. How I survive is my business, queen. Don't call me names. Well, it bothers me. Well, that's a pity. Because George is a very nice man. And he has a job for you if you want it. I won't do that sort of work. In a flower shop.
anything I can do for you today, sir? A rose. Single, very lovely red rose. What is it for? A wedding? Something special? No. This one's for you. From the first moment I saw you, surrounded by roses, I haven't been able to get you out of my mind. I trust you do not think me forward, ma'am. I, I know we've not been introduced. Well, I know, sir. I was most pleased when you asked me to walk out with you this evening. Ordinarily, I would, of course, have asked your father, but I, I do not know who he is or how to find out. You're not from these parts. No. My home is far away. And your family? A very old family, sir. My father was a colonel in the war. He lost an arm. You fought in the war? It was my duty and my strong and passionate cause. Your father is Colonel... Oh, a lemonade stand, I declare. I'm dying of thirst. Oh, I cannot have you die, my dear. I've waited so long to find you. Lemonade it is. Your family is from Georgia, perhaps? No. Um, Alabama. Thank you. You be careful. Sooner or later, he's gonna have to know the truth. Oh, don't spoil it for me, Alice. It's the most beautiful thing ever happened to me. And when he wants to know more about you? He already does. He want to meet my family. Oh, Queen, I could spank you. Digby's obviously from your old family. What you think he's gonna feel when he finds out he's been stepping out with a nigger? Well, he ain't gonna know. I'm gonna tell him my pappy's sick. Oh, Every sorry. moment you're with him, you're living a lie. One day you're gonna slip. Oh, he cares for me, Alice. But it makes me feel wonderful. For the first time in my life, I feel like somebody really cares for me. Then let him care for you. Let him look after you. But don't let him be love. Love is dangerous for women like us. I'm not like you. What are you doing? Nothing. Wonderful. Those of us who fought for the Confederation don't find much joy in it. But it's the 4th of July. I wonder if your father's celebrating in Florence. I know all about you. How? There are too many Jacksons in Alabama. I know his mansion is called the Forks of Cyprus and that it has gone to rack and ruin since the war. Is that why you didn't tell me? <laughs> you silly goose. We're none of us what we were. I've watched my family's fortune fade to nothing but useless Confederate promissory notes. We are all poor now. We offended God when we lost the war. And he is visiting a terrible judgment on us. Here we are, two lost and lonely people who found each other. I've no right to ask you. I don't have a lot to offer other than my love. And uh, I know I should ask your father first, but I, I think you will understand. Will you marry me? Look after the horses, sir. We don't need your help. Please, sir. Just a few pennies. 
You heard the gentleman. Let go of that. Let go. Don't you whoop me. I ain't no slave no more. Don't you whoop me. Hey, filthy nigga. He don't whoop me. Nobody whoop me. Come along, my dear. How could you be such a fool? I had to. But I warned you. I told you it was dangerous. You can't marry him. He ain't never gonna know. Listen, it's not just you. It's all of us who can pass. So you marry him. But what is he gonna say when you have babies and a little picking and he pops out? One day he's gonna know you tricked him, lied to him. Then it's not just you, it's all of us. You get out of this girl as fast as you can. You've been playing with fire too long. I don't know how. You think of something. Want to this, ma'am? Queen, what a wonderful surprise. Please, come in. I had to see you. I wasn't expecting company. Certainly not you. Is something wrong? You're not going back on your word, I hope. Because I'd sue you for breach of promise, you know. I love you that much. Well, what is it? What's wrong? I'm sorry. Just a little close in here. I'll open the window. Now, what do you want to tell me? Uh, nothing. Really, I just, uh... Well, then let me tell you something first. It, it might make things easier for you. I wrote to your father today. Queen! Honey, what's the matter? shouldn't be alone in here with me, you know. But I won't tell anyone if you won't. And we ought to be married, aren't we? I can't remember when I've been so happy. Don't say that. You don't know anything about me. Not really. Let the drug do its work. It'll make you feel so good. like floating on a fluffy pink cloud. You're like a drug to me. I only have to look at you and all the pain is gone. Saw you. I can't wait until we're married. 
that to have you know. It's been so long since I had a woman. I need you. Come here. Colonel Jackson and my mammy was a slave woman. Slut! Told him. How could you tell him? How could you tell him you knew you were playing with fire? How many warnings did you need? You raped me. And you told him to save your precious virginity. Well, let me tell you what it cost. Word will spread like wildfire. A couple of mulattoes in here passing his right, and then you know what's gonna happen? At the very least, George is gonna hear, and I'll lose him all because of your precious virginity. No one got the right to take it away from me. No one. Oh, you're not special. We've all been raped. Thought you was my friend. You're too dangerous to be anyone's friend. You're living in a dream. You're not in the real world. And you're not Little Miss in between. You're Little Miss High and Mighty. My peppy was a colonel. I lived in a mansion. My peppy loved me. Then why did he let you go? He got to get out of here. I'm going to tell him that I kicked you out. That I found out about you. And I made you go. No, Alice. I ain't got no one else. Go back to your precious family. I can't. All I got. Well, there ain't nothing left for you here, not now. Go anywhere, somewhere, I don't care where. Just get as far away from here and as far away from me as possible. Oh, Ellen, please. I'm begging you, don't make me go, Ellen. I'm begging you. Why did you tell him? Why? I need a place to sleep. Over there. Are you hungry? And eat that, white bitch.
It's forever. Is it a moment? A day? A year? A lifetime? Or is it forever? Forever is eternity. And this veil of tears is not eternal. Our wretched misery on this earth is but a moment in the blanket of God's eye. When that moment we call life is done, we will be taken up in glory. We will bask in the sun of God's love and glory. We will dwell in the bosom of the Lord in glory. Not for a moment, not for a year, not for a lifetime, but forever. And forever, and forever, in glory. Help me. Somebody, help me. Help me. Please. Help me. I never. Excellent, Joy. She'll do splendidly. So light and lovely tea. Thank you for bringing her. Oh, I don't mind staying, ma'am. There's no need, but if you wish, you may wait in the kitchen. Now, Queen, isn't it? A very odd name. We should be pleased to take you into service. You'll find us stern taskmasters but fair, I think, and you'll get your board and keep. Good honest pay for good honest work. If any would not work, neither should he eat. Thessalonians 3.10. Yes, sir. And you should be careful who your friends are, Queen. Obviously, you've had a good education. Many of the Negroes here have not been so fortunate. That is why we have a mission to them. Yes, sir. That's settled then. You may say goodbye to your friends. <coughs> oh, after we've said a little prayer. Man goeth forth under his work, under his labor. O oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom hast thou made them all. They dragons. Yeah, but they're five pretty old now. Besides, you need a job, and ain't that many of them around here. If you have any problem, you come see me. I can handle them, too. I'll be fine. I just gotta be careful who my friends are. <laughs> well, you best not hang around with me then, child. I still black for them. I see you in church on Sunday. All right. Oh, God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Be thou our guide while troubles last, and our eternal home. Dinner ready, ma'am. Thank you, Queen. Did you go to church this morning, Queen? Oh, yes, Miss Gippy. It's Sunday. Was it a good service? Oh, yes, um, they nearly lifted the roof off. Paganism. We prefer a quieter appreciation of our Lord. But it was wonderful, Miss Mandy. The spirit surely moved. Clapping and dancing and shouting. This is heathen behavior. Idolatry. African ritual. 
Your good girl, Queen. It is our dearest wish that you should come to our church and contemplate the wonders of a Lord in calm and quiet. Maybe the Lord moves in mysterious ways. That's very true, Queen. Perhaps you are his test of us. Oh, no. I promise. I'm working hard for my Savior's love. Very good, very good. Then say your prayers with us. Then you can go to your dinner. Oh, Lord, we thank thee for thy precious bounty and for the blessings thou hast bestowed upon us. Consecrate this food, O oh Lord, in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 What do you think you're doing? I'm cleaning up your garden. Why? I'm looking for work. Who told you to do that? Well, now, I took it on my own authority. Get out of here, you hear me? Or I'm going to tell on you. I'm going to call the missus. Now, now. You just do that. Miss Mandy! Miss Mandy! What is it, Queen? What's wrong? Who is that man? Begging your pardon, ma'am. My name Davis. I guess you'd be the lady of the house. Get out of here at once before I call for help. Now, you can do that, ma'am. You got every right. But your God a mess. You're not looking for what? You could have asked. For begging your pardon, ma'am. I big and I black. If I come banging on your door, would you have given me the time of day? That's hardly the point. It is to me now, ma'am. Now, if you can see your way clear to employ me, well, I'll work for you right hard. But you prefer not or can't afford me, I'll give you this afternoon for free. Because I hate to see a garden looking like this. You're very sure of yourself, young man. Can't see no reason not to be, ma'am. Well, I'll take you off of a free afternoon. <laughs> if the work is satisfactory, I will consider some regular employment. I will be watching you. Thank you kindly, ma'am. Roses need pruning. They do, but not now. Wrong time of year. <laughs> the devil finds work for idle hands, Queen. I want to finish making jelly today. And then the stove must be blacked. Yes, ma'am. Then why don't you take out some lemonade to that gardener? He's a good worker. It's a hot day. Yes, ma'am. It's rare to find a Negro with such self-confidence, yet so polite. It gives me hope that our work is not entirely in vain. I wonder, does he know he has a friend in Jesus? You can have a break, he said. Doing a good job, she said. I can give you dinner tonight and before you go home. She said that too. Well, better do like she say then, huh? Who done that to your back? Oh, my son, the slave day. A little more pie? No, thank you, ma'am. That was very fine. Where you learn to cook like that? On a plantation. 
Mm -hmm. So it's good. Why they whip you so bad? Moss ain't like my way. They want to be no slave. It was my ideal life. So they try to whip some fear into me. Well, that's over now. Ain't changed much. I mean, I'm free. But they still treat me like a field nigga. I want to have to beg for change from the white man pocket. I want to live a life where I ain't never going to be able to better myself. Free or not. So I'm taking charge of my life. I'm looking for my place. I'm looking for where I belong. I'm looking too. It was a fine meal, man. I thank you kindly. You know, you have a friend in Jesus. What you done? Oh, hurt my shoulder, chopping on this old tree trunk. Well, I could do that. Thank you. Did it hurt? Oh, it was worth it for this. You got magic hands. My mama taught me. Was my papa's favorite thing. I meant that these hurt. Ain't you never been beat? Not really. I got to switch a few times. The switch. <laughs> what they say, don't feel it after the first few lash. That ain't true. You feel every sting of it. Cut across your back like a razor and go on cutting. All you feel is this terrible pain and this dreadful anger that they got the power to do this to you. Just cause you black. You hate him with every ounce of hate you got inside you for doing this to you. Don't hate. Ain't no need for hate now. That's all there is. No. There's love.
Oh, my sweet queen. You got more love in you than anybody I ever know. You're filled up with love. Thank you. Don't know how much room there is in my heart. to marry me unless you wanted to. I wouldn't make you. My dear, you can't make me. Nobody can make me do nothing I don't want to do. Not no more. It would be so terrible. Negro boy in this world, except pain and humiliation. You're not always gonna be like that. Not always. It will be like that. Always and always and always. I will not bring a child into this world till I have made this a better world to bring a child into. seem to do is make people cry. Oh, Lord, we thank thee for thy bounty and for thy many blessings on these thy humble servants. Queen, what on earth are you doing? Not I saw you take that biscuit. What's the matter? Don't we feed you enough that you must steal from our very table? The Eighth Commandment. I think you better go to your room, miss. After you put the biscuit back. Nest in our warrant. She say it's yourn, and she ain't no lie. So what you gonna do about it? I saw it. Ain't thrilled about it, and you know why. But it done. So I guess I'm gonna have to stand by you. Not so fast, Missy. You don't get out of here that easy. Now, she wasn't gonna tell you because she didn't want to force you to wed her. But she don't want you if you're just marrying her because you feel you got her. She don't want you if you don't love her. Ain't sure I know what love is. If I'm going to find out from anybody, I reckon it's you. I surely hope so. Because if you don't care for this girl and cherish her, I find out, and I'll come for you, wherever you be, and I'll fix it. So you don't never give no poor gal no baby again. You know I will. I know you will. Now. You can go to him.
that all you taking? That's all I got. You sure you don't want me to come with you? No, you go to church. They said they gonna meet me there at noon. No, you know what a man say and what a man do be two different things. Now, you know where you going? Up north, I guess. Now, if you ever need anything, you come straight on back to me. You hear? Here. Now, you have a dance to me at your wedding. Okay. I gotta go. I can't keep him waiting. You, you take care of yourself now, you hear? Would. I had a feeling. I ain't never said he was gonna marry me. You said that. Say he was gonna stand by you? Well, I guess he got better things to do. Ain't no use in crying about it now. Think it's gonna hurt? I can't imagine it'd be easy. But you ain't got no other choice now. Even Miss Esther. This little sister here needs your help. I'm gonna keep my child. A wicked, naughty girl, that's what you are. Now you leave the child be. She's been true enough. How dare you address me that way? I dress you any way I want. This girl need help, not your sermon. Out of the house, out of the house this minute. And where is she going to get this help? I take her with me. I give all the love and care she need. Queen, get your thing. Not so fast. Now, of all things to consider here, such as the child's immortal soul, Queen is lost. All the prayers in Christendom couldn't save her now, but the child is another matter. Precious burden, an innocent babe. I will not let the child into your care. It will have the advantage of a proper Christian upbringing. Ah, Christian. And since we must look after the child, we must also look after Queen. It's our duty. Fallen sinner. I won't let her stay here. Come on. And how will you stop it? Queen is in our employ, and I doubt that the authorities would consider you more suitable than us. If she should leave here, of course, she wouldn't have a job. And I can't think she would easily find another. Her condition? I stay. I have to. Fairly graceless response, Queen. A little gratitude might be an all. Yes, sir. Thank you. Let's settle then. Now off to bed with you. You need your rest for the child's sake. You need anything? You let me know. There is nothing she needs from you, and you are not welcome here. Remember your prayers tonight, Queen. Bless and protect my little child, Lord. Let him be born whole and complete in thy likeness. And please, Lord, let him love me. Don't let them two old dragons be too hard on me. Amen. Queen, well, you know, are you sure you're all right out here? Oh, I'm fine, Miss Skippy. Don't watch you catching cold. 
You know, you didn't finish your chores today. We'll forgive you now, in view of the... But once he's born... Why are you so sure he's going to be a boy? Well, I don't know, of course. How could I? Now, don't sit out here too long. She's convinced it'll be a boy because she wants it to be a boy. We both do. What's it like, Queen? Heavy. No, I mean, what's it really like? How does it feel in your heart? Well, I feel full up with him, complete with love for him. I think it's going to be a boy, too. I feel him growing inside me, kicking inside me, part of my body and all my love. I don't know what I'm going to do if he don't love me. Can't imagine why it wouldn't. Ain't nobody ever gonna take him away from me. Except God, maybe. I envy you so much. Both of us do. Don't you think we didn't long to be married? Yearn to have children? We never found the right man, either of us. Or they didn't find us. And then the war came along and took most of the men away. And we got old. We spend our lives trying to increase God's family, not our own. But I would give almost. To know what it feels like, really feels like, in my heart. Make it worse for me. Come on, go push. Shouldn't we get help? Nonsense. We're nearly there. We don't need any good push, Queen. I can see it. I can see it. Oh, Lord, how do I aid in this hour of need? Oh, please get off your knees, woman, and get me a sheet. We're there, Queen. We're there. And oh, bless my cotton socks. It's a boy. It's a knife. It's a knife. Let me see him. In a minute, Queen, we've got things to do. My child, he mine. I want to see him. Wait a minute, you ungrateful girl. He's not really very dark. Perhaps he'll get lighter as he gets older. I want my child. Let me see him. He's a very fine, very handsome baby. We must think of a special name for him. David. Don't call him David. Oh, I don't think that's entirely suitable, Queen. What it means, beloved. Not at all suitable. David was an adulterer for Bathsheba's husband. We thought Abner. I gonna name him David. this child Abner in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This child is thus acknowledged 
to be a member of Christ's church and is commended to thy care and love. Miss Mandy wants you to feed Abner. She always wanted to feed. He gonna buzz from feeding. Well, he's crying now. You best go see. Do that best afterwards. Yes, ma'am. He's starving, Queen. Where have you been? Probably just the bups. He already been fed. That was four hours ago. I have it written down. Oh, no, feed him here. You know I like to watch. Taint fitting private business between me and my boy. It can't do him any harm, and it pleases me. There's a home for little children above the bright blue sky where Jesus reigns in glory, a home of peace and joy. No home on earth is like it, nor can with it compare. For everyone is happy, nor could be happier. What you doing with that? I have decided to move Abner into my room. Mm. You leave that be. I believe it would be best for the child, and you must know I'm right. Best thing for the child is to stay with his mammy. The child can't stay with you. It puts his soul in danger. You don't care nothing about his soul. You just want him, because you can't have no child of your own, you old dried up old thing. Don't be ridiculous. We're not trying to steal your child. We're trying to give him the benefit of a decent life and the promise of salvation, which is more than you can do. You'll still see him. He ain't taking him. He mine. The only thing that ever been truly mine. You're hysterical. You can't take him. Very well. If you won't listen to reason, I will have to follow some other course. Come along, Gibby. I'll let you. Jezebel. You will regret this, Queen. some farm animal that bred This man is a good Christian woman. She's stealing my child. I can't believe she's threatening the law if I make a fuss. What can I do? Ain't nothing you can do. She white and you black. And ain't nobody gonna believe you even if what you say is true. It's true, all right. 
I'm sure you're just imagining things. I'm sure Miss Minn is doing it all for the best. And don't you go making no trouble. Life's hard enough for black folk around here. Is that it? She's stealing my child. And ain't nothing I can do. Cause I'm black. That's the way of the world, girl. You go home. Talk to Miss Mandy. The world will look better in the morning. What you say is true. The woman is mentally affected. Perhaps time and her institution would be of help. And what would happen to Abner? A suitable foster home will have to be found. You give me my child. Queen, how dare you? Do you know your redeemer, girl? Yes, sir, I do. Are you a sinner? I ain't a sinner no more. I've been saved. You are in a state of constant sin. These good women have told me all about you. They're the sinners. They're trying to steal my child. Queen, that is a wicked lie. Liars and fornicators will be consigned to the flames of hell. Hallelujah. Go to your room and leave Abner here. No, he mine. I kill you before I let you have him. I kill you before I let you have him. Quite deranged and violent. You must have her committed at once, dear ladies. We'll do as you say. We gotta go, child. This here ain't home. I don't know where it is, but I gonna find one. I swear, I gonna find one. Now, we're free. We're free. 